This is a mock Zender interferometer. It consists of a half-silvered beam splitter where incoming light is split between two paths. These two paths then lead to another half-silvered beam splitter where the light is recombined. The path length of each arm can be adjusted by moving the associated mirror. When we adjust one of the path lengths of our mock sender interferometer, we can see that the distribution of detections between our two detectors changes. If light is made of particles, why would this happen? Each particle should go down a path and just get randomly split again at the final beam splitter. If light is a wave phenomenon, however, this path length difference will impart a phase shift this phase shift changes the way the waves recombine at the second beam splitter, shifting whether or not the light is constructively or destructively interfering. Our photon can't be explained as a classical wave or particle. We need quantum mechanics to understand what's going on. As the particle enters the beam splitter, it actually becomes a superposition of states, one state being it traveled down the upper path and the other state traveling down the lower path. These states then recombine before reaching our detectors. A phase shift can be imparted on our upper path link superposition, leading to the wave-like behavior.